Jordan Peterson is always in the news. For the right reasons or the wrong reasons, it doesn't matter. This man has managed to capture the world's attention in the last couple of years, convince them to their point of view, and come out winning at the other end. That is a big feat for any human being on the planet. This man is perhaps one of the most influential people in modern day today. In today's video, we not only understand what he does, but we create a formula, share that formula with you, teach you how to do it, share with you what my client did using that formula to make upwards of 50 thousand dollars every single month let's get into it hey guys my name is yagi founder and creative record breaker where i help you shatter past your highest ever revenue record months in the shortest amount of time and in today's video i share with you the five-step framework that jordan peterson uses to convince people to his point of view and win them over doesn't matter if you're arguing with your partner or your spouse or your friend or you're having a negotiation a business meeting or most importantly if you're having a sales call and you're selling something to somebody because at the end of the day every single conversation we have is a sales conversation we are explaining our point of view our philosophies to somebody else and getting them to agree or disagree to our point of view and the better we are at communicating our ideas and the better we are at winning over the other person's trust the better we are at selling so my client runs a couple of businesses he primarily deals in crypto in a time like this he's making fifty thousand thousand dollars plus every single month selling crypto and other associated services and probably thinking that's a horrible business while well, he's doing very well so when i started working with him i asked him what's your biggest problem he said yeah i have a great product i have lots of prospects who get on calls with me but i'm unable to convince them i'm unable to showcase to them the inherent value of what i do so we looked at dr peterson's model now the first thing he does is posture and composure if you notice Jordan Peterson in every single scenario environment is super relaxed. He's usually leaning back on an elbow with his legs crossed and a thoughtful gaze. He's always super comfortable. When I looked at what this client was doing, when he was speaking to people, he was getting worked up. He was getting excited. He was sometimes super excited in the value of what he was sharing. Other times he was getting excited because he could see that he was losing the conversation. We do this with our partners, our loved ones all the time. The moment we start seeing that we're not going to get anywhere, we start losing our composure. Dr. Peterson, and even in his interview with Kathy Newman, where he was being attacked, left, right and center, did not lose his composure. Cool, calm, collected. That's a subconscious signal you're giving to the other party that there is no danger. There is no threat. This is not an adversarial environment. We are here to communicate and communicate alone. What this does is it sets the tone and it's a very clear frame. So the first thing we did was we trained him on framing. He would show up to his calls completely chill, relaxed, ready to hear what they had to talk about and made the conversation all about them. This brings us to our second point and that is Jordan Peterson always has a collaborative approach in the way he speaks to people versus an adversarial approach. With his conversations, it's never a battle where one side has to come out winning. It's more about both parties winning. He always makes the other party feel heard and understood. He will often end sentences by saying, so I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Look at this clip to see how he talks and makes the other person feel understood and heard. They see an avenue here for that to continue to spread their hateful ideology and to make more people hateful. So that's why that's why the Nazis come here. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that's why that was. So I'm perfectly aware of them. Now let's use the same philosophy in a business setting. Now more often than not, when we're in a negotiation, we think we need to win over the other party. When we're in sales, in e-commerce, in e-learning, we hear the saying that the prospect has to feel stupid saying no. But if you make the prospect feel stupid, they will temporarily say yes, but they're going to back out later. You're going to have refunds, withdrawals. You're going to have people who ghosted you and didn't sign up. Things of that nature. Because while you can force and leverage and manipulate a person into saying yes to you or temporarily agreeing to your point of view, they're not going to honor it. This is an automatic way that human beings function if they're in a conversation with you and they feel that you are giving them the same respect that you are expecting from them, that you're making them feel heard and validated. They are much more likely to let their guards down and see things from your point of view. The rule of the thumb, never ever make the other person feel stupid if you expect to win them over to your point of view. The third thing that Dr. Peterson does is heavy use of storytelling and archetyping. He will often use more than three stories in one discussion to demonstrate and better explain his point of view. People relate better to stories. Now those stories include archetypes, the potency of your message just went up tenfold. Check out this clip to see his heavy usage of storytelling and archetyping. Proving our ability to cope with the world. 
So for example, if you watch an athlete, a high level athlete. That's the witch in Hansel and Gretel who fattens up the kids and eats them. How many of you have seen Disney's Sleeping Beauty? It's very difficult to understand Jung outside of a narrative context. And so I'm going to walk you through The Lion King today. Human beings love listening to stories. They are symbolic and they're something everyone is familiar with and they solicit specific types of emotions in the person. This brings us to our fourth point where Jordan Peterson highlights during the conversation what you might be thinking and answering what you might be thinking for you. Check out this clip to see what I mean. Working with old people in, in old age homes and the rule is don't do anything for the, for the uh, residents that they can do themselves. You think, well, that's pretty harsh. It's like, no, it isn't. You're, you're helping them retain their independence. Then he stretches out and he'll go fight again. So antidepressants work on lobsters, huh. right? And you think, well, who cares? It's like, no, no, no. He's achieving two very important things with this technique. One, he's making you acutely aware that he understands your point of view. He understands it so well that he can tell you what you're thinking. And two, he's also answering any hypothetical questions that you might have in the process. Now take this and put this in a sales environment or a negotiation environment where you're like, I understand you might be having a problem. You might be having trouble digesting how we do this, this and this. Well, let me explain it to you. Or you might be selling a product or a service that's high ticket, high priced. I know you're probably thinking why we're so high priced versus other people in the market. Let me tell you why. And as a bonus to this technique, what you can do is add a validation point to it where you go, I know what you might be thinking that these guys are too high priced. And that's a fair thing to say. You just showed the other person that you not only know what they're thinking, but you agree with what they're thinking. And so when these four points are used in conjunction with each other, every discussion, every argument goes from being an argument to a very friendly conversation with another person that you trust, know and respect, who feels validated, heard. And this is how you can win them over to your point of view. And that brings us to the last point, which is Jordan Peterson knows when to shut up. Once he's won someone to his point of view, he doesn't mock them. He doesn't demean them. He doesn't make them feel weird for having their first point of view and then abandoning it. Now, most people I know, whether it's partners, friends, or someone selling their services to somebody else, they don't know when to stay quiet. In a sales environment, this happens when a person sells and sells and sells and oversells and keeps selling until the other person loses interest. In a romantic environment, this happens when a person keeps pleading or keeps proving their point of view. In a business environment, it happens when a person tries to bulldoze the other person, throwing tons of facts and figures, and the other party just dissociates and just goes off. It never ends in a good way. And this is the five-step framework that Jordan Peterson uses, that I use, that I get my clients to use to grow their businesses ridiculously. If you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know which point you found the most important and useful. Subscribe for more content like this. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.